Hello lovelies and welcome to this week's video. Thank you for joining me. We are going to be looking at a little bit of a shopping haul that I had uh, yesterday which I'm really excited to show you. I went shopping with a friend of mine for her birthday and we sought out a couple of wonderful crystal shops and um, raided a bit of a bookshop as well. So I'm going to show you what crystals I bought, the books I bought, I bought some candles, I bought lots of different things. I'm going to show them all to you now and what they're about and why I bought them. And um, if you are local to the North Somerset area, then these two crystal shops are in Western Supermare. One is called Dragon's Gallery, which is in Hewish, and one is called Rose and Amber, as it Rose and Amber, which is in the town centre of Western Supermare. So <laughs> I recommend if you're in the area, give those both a visit if you're after crystals, because they have they have loads. So it's, they're really great places. So I'm going to start off with a few things that I bought in Dragon's Gallery. Um, starting with this wonderful necklace I brought. I bought myself a pentagram, pentacle, sorry, seeing as it's got a circle around it. So I, ha I used to have um, a necklace of one of these a many years ago and I've lost it. And for some reason I never, I never replaced it. And I saw this one yesterday and I was really drawn to buy it. So um, it's now one of my, my favourite necklaces. I'm probably going to wear it an awful lot. Um, a lot of people are spooked by this symbol. They may me think it means something scary or occult or horrid. But it, the actual origins and the actual meaning of this symbol is really very peaceful. The five-pointed star recommend, um, represents um, the sun, earth, air, fire and water. So all of our elements. And then the circle around them represents the spirit of um, either, depending on which way you believe things, it's either the spirit of the goddess or God, the spirit of Mother Earth, just everything that surrounds and brings those, looks after those elements. So that is what this represents. Um, and I absolutely love it. So that's my new favourite necklace that I bought yesterday. Also in Dragon's Gallery, um, I bought um, a couple of things to do some spell, charm, ritual work with. So this is when we use crystals or um, herbs or candlelight, um, affirmations, um, things like that to help with manifestation, to help with clarity, protection, clearing energy. Um, it's the same as maybe in creating a crystal grid. It's all about when you want to kind of focus energy and give that its right space and um, kind of attention. So I've brought some candles that I would like for that. So I've got this really funky little candle holder for them because um, using one at a time because different candles can be used for different colour candles can be used for different things. So I bought one of the holders. So again, that's from Dragon's Gallery, which is really lovely. And um, not sponsored by either of these places, by the way. I just love them. Just whole, wholeheartedly recommend you go visit. Um, and I bought some candles for some spell work. So I bought a white candle because white candles are can be used for anything, basically. They're a bit of a wild card. They're great for using for cleansing as well. And um, if you're doing anything related to your higher self or your higher consciousness, psychic abilities, things like that. But um, yeah, white is a good all rounder. Um, and if you don't have a particular color candle, you can use um, maybe a pin or something and carve the carve the color, the word, into the side of a white candle and use it in place of that as well. So that's why I bought white. Black candle used for protection and banishing negativity. Um, same as black crystals used for the same thing. So this would be if um, doing some spell work or a charm or clear, trying to clear some negative energy, whether that be creating a crystal grid, using some affirmations, some herbs, making a little charm bag up, something like that. You can burn a black candle for protection. Green is healing but and also abundance so this can be used for um, any kind of uh, healing ritual um healing spell healing charm um anything to do with your with your heart as well but also it's a great color of prosperity and abundance so whether it be financial abundance or people or opportunities or something that you're after and you want to welcome more things into your life then burning a green candle 
can really help with that. Then yellow candle, very similar, very good for abundance and prosperity. Yellow being very uplifting, very balancing color. So linking to things of your solar plexus, which is yellow. So this can be a lot to do with when you want to visualize and manifest and affirmations and things as well, but also very good for uplifting and prosperity. And then the final candle I bought, which I'm, I'm gonna go and buy more because it won't take long to burn through these, um, is pink candle because this is everything to do with love, self-love, relationships, um, loving energy. So there's lots of um, self-love and self-help ritual and charm work that can be done. Um, and you can also just burn a pink candle for those kind of affirmations and times when you want to focus on self-love and love and relationships. So that's why I bought the pink one. So there were lots of other colours as well. There was purple, brown, um, orange, red. There's lots and lots of different uh, colours, but these are the ones that I wanted primarily. So that's what I got with my little candle holder. And then lastly, in Dragon's Gallery, I bought a few crystals, obviously. So these are crystals that I want to use for me personally. These aren't crystals that I've bought to put in my sets and my kits that I sell on that, that I sell on to people. These are for my own personal use. So um, it's nice sometimes to top up my collection with extras because I may already have some of these stones, but they may be being in, in use somewhere or they might be in my kind of my what I call my working crystal box, which is the a big box of crystals that I take to my workshops and crystal clinics and things like that. So these are for my own personal use, these ones I bought. So I bought three pieces of one crystal because I was drawn to all three of them. And that crystal is Unikite. So I bought three pieces of Unikite. So Unikite is detoxing and cleansing. So I am trying my best to change, um, overhaul my eating habits, um, trying my best to curb my uh, coffee and wine consumption. Um, just because I'm becoming more aware that the older I get, my body is rejecting these things more and more. Um, my immune system isn't the best that it could be. I keep coming down with colds and things that I never used to. Um, and I'm struggling. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I'm really struggling with hay fever at the moment. Again, something that I've never really had a problem with. But this year, oh my gosh, my eyes are burning, my nose, my ears, my throat. It's horrible. So I'm really focusing on some detoxing and some cleansing of um of my energy of my physical body what i'm putting into my body and i need the kind of energy that's going to keep me going on that and give me that willpower and help me with my detoxing journeys and that is why i think i've been drawn to so much unikite lately um so that's why i got these pieces i'm probably going to have a piece that i carry around with me um a piece that i'm going to put under my pillow um, to have with me while I sleep, which I find really helpful. So that's why I bought a few pieces because I think because it's such an important thing to me at the moment, I need to do different things with them. I may even make a grid, which I need a piece for as well. So that's my Unikite that I bought, bought three pieces of that. And I also bought some Howlite, primarily because I'm going on holiday soon and Howlite is a really good travel stone. It's really good if you're going on a plane because it helps with travel anxieties. Not that I have a lot of travel anxieties, but it doesn't hurt to uh, nip that kind of thing in the bud. So, um, and it gives some um, protection while you're traveling away from home. So that's why I bought that. That's gonna be coming to Spain with me in a few weeks time. It's gonna be on my person when I'm on the plane. So that's how like, I bought a piece of that, purely for that reason. Um, I also bought some sodalite because I, lost i did have a nice piece of soda light and i lost it and i don't know if it's just i've lost it in the process of doing a workshop or something but i can't find it so it's basically a replacement of that i don't always use it but it's one i like to have because it it's a great blue communication stone it's a great stone for your third eye to help with um help with focus um it can help with headaches and it also helps with your self-expression as well so it's just an important one to have for me to have and because i lost a piece of mine i have bought some more and then the final crystal that i bought in the dragon's gallery shop was green calcite now i've never had this crystal before and um i was really drawn drawn to it. i've got some orange calcite i've got some yellow calcite i've never had green 
and I was just really drawn to this piece in the shop and I, I always say that's the most important thing you can go by is what you're drawn to and if something draws you to it and you want to pick it up and then when you hold it you don't want to put it down which is exactly how I felt when I picked this piece up then um, it needs to be in your life you need to use it so I decided I was going to buy it before I refreshed myself on what greenhouse that actually means and it does make a lot of sense um, it's a very good manifestation stone it's really good with inner strength there's things that you want to achieve um, it helps it gives you a great energy of, of helping you along the process of making those things a reality so um, that fits with what I'm doing in my personal life and my work life at the moment so really helpful and I can totally understand why I've been drawn to it so that's why I bought that so that's green cow side so after that we left dragon's gallery that's all the lovely things I bought in there I wish I could show you the crystals that my friend bought as well she bought some beautiful large pieces to have in her um, in her living room and later on in the day she also bought this beautiful quartz geode which is absolutely stunning um in the rose and amber shop in weston they have they have absolutely loads of crystals in all different shapes and sizes it's like an aladdin's cave i actually put some photographs of the inside of the shop over on my facebook page um the link for that is in the description if you want to have a look it, it is like an aladdin's cave of wonders in there it's absolutely brilliant so I did buy a couple of crystals in there, which I will get to in a moment because I want to show you the books I bought. And I'm a little bit of a book fiend. I have an awful lot of books that I haven't yet read or I dip in and out of because I've bought them more for reference purposes um, in <coughs> teaching myself new skills, learning new things and also um, assisting me in advising clients and creating um, the services for them. So I have an awful lot, I have like a library of resources is how I see it. And some books I buy because I'm really interested and in, I'll read them cover to cover, but others are ones that I'll dip in and out of. So some of these are dip in and out of books, but they all have, um, <coughs> excuse me, they all have a very, very good um, reason and they're very, very different to, they're all different from books I already have. So I went to the bookshop, The Works. So I don't know if you've heard of The Works, but it's a brilliant discount bookshop. Um, they have, it's a bit hit and miss sometimes, they like different branches because I think they have like a whole batch of books in and then once they're gone, they're gone. So it struck really lucky yesterday and um, in their kind of self-help um, spirituality section, they had tons of books. So it was very hard for me just to narrow it down to four <laughs> that I bought. Um, but I'll take you through them. So I first of all got a crystal book. So I have a number of crystal books, um, obviously, but this one I really liked because it had descriptions of crystals. I have a, I have a crystal Bible that I use, but this also had descriptions of stones that I hadn't seen before. So I don't think we're completely covered in the crystal Bible that I have. So it's always useful to have as much resources to go to as possible when I've got clients who have very diverse reasons for wanting to use crystals. I want to have as much reliable information um, as I can to be able to advise them properly and make recommendations. So it's important to me to be able to cover all bases. So that's why this, and it's just lovely the way it's concise, we've got beautiful pictures to identify stones, really concise information, it's not too waffly. Um, so that's why I bought this, this book because it's just something that I'd be able to refer to in a client session easily um share the book with them so and it's just it's just very easy to understand and also there's in there that for people who um maybe are reasonably new to crystals or haven't been using them for very long it's it got it's got explanations there on how to use the pendulum um uh, how crystals work how to use them best ways to choose them etc so it's a really good kind of pocket sized book as well because some of my, my crystal bible for instance is a lot thicker book it's not one that i would necessarily chuck in my bag but this is like a, such a nice small size um i just couldn't turn it down basically and because it's in the works and it's a discount bookshop all of these books that i bought yesterday were three pounds each and i just i thought that was such a bargain so if you are buy one um buy works take a look at this book really really good three quid bargain so that was my first book crystal book couldn't room. It was unlikely I was going to come away without a crystal book, to be fair. So I also have my interest um, 
well, much more than an interest, really. It's something I've had since I was 15. So we're talking 21 years now of being interested in um, a lot of pagan beliefs, a lot of Wiccan beliefs. Um, it's not something I wouldn't say that I'm a Wiccan or a pagan. I don't follow it like a religion as such. But I have a strong sense and connection with um, Mother Nature, which is quite the basis of a lot of their beliefs. Um and with magic and using nature. So we use the moon, which a lot of things we do in different types, the new moon, the full moon, we use the moon cycles, herbs, scents, flowers, candles for fire. Um, we cleanse things in water, um, we tune into energies. So all of this comes under that umbrella of magic. Um, and it's nothing scary. It's nothing, like I said before about the pentacle, um, it can, it's very misunderstood sometimes and mis often mis misinterpreted. But really it's about using all these and crystals. They come from the earth. Again, they're rocks. They're formed naturally in the earth. So it's all about using these gifts and then giving back. It's like a, a, a full life cycle. That is the um, cornerstone of of pagan beliefs basically so um i have a strong interest in magic and using all of these things using crystals using candles herbs scents things like that so i was drawn to two kind of magic books so the first one is spells for mindfulness so again don't be put off by the word spells it's nothing complicated it can be as simple as using a crystal with an affirmation, burning a candle, and then keeping that crystal with you with that affirmation. That's a spell. Um, whether, however you may have interpreted it or not, that is a spell. So, um, or it can be making affirmations by the full moon, um, making a grid. These are all a form of spell work um, by putting your intention out there to the universe law of attraction it all it is uh, that is all that is all it is it's basically just tuning into the universe so spells for mindfulness um isn't one i've seen before so it's all about spells to uh bring positivity into your life so i think again like these are reference books that i will use not only for my own personal life but it's for spell work and um when i'm putting together um kind of in in partnership with a client when we're putting together what it is they want to achieve or what they want to do and how they maybe want to organize their crystals and things then these are all things that are methods that we can go through together for them to be able to get the best out of what they have to achieve what they want to achieve so that is why um, i have a lot of these type of books because they're a great reference um to find ways and find the best thing for different people because different people want different things and have a different affinity with different things. So it's great to have these kind of books on hand. So we've got, for example, there is about bringing love into your life. So love and relationships. There's a spell here to sleep for sleeping well. And all you need for this sleeping well spell is like I just said, you need a piece of smoky quartz, which is a crystal, piece of paper and a pen and your bed. And then it takes you through a method of setting an affirmation using your quartz um, to surround yourself with this great energy to enable you better sleep. So it's very simple spells like that. So if you want a very gentle introduction to spell work, then this is a great book. Again, this is in this is in the works if you're near one. I'm sure it's available online as well um, on Amazon, for example. But it's in the works for, again, for £3. That's brilliant. So check that one out. And the other magic book I got is called The House Witch. So this is by a lady um, called Erin Murphy Hiscock. And I already have a couple of her other books. I have her, um, I think it's a book on the craft and a book on self-care for witches. So, and again, witches just meaning somebody who uses magic. And that is exactly what I do it, every day um, is use it. So this is House Witch. This is um, creating a magical space with rituals and spells for your home so you've got things like cleansing all the energy in your home making sure your home is protected from negative energy um what you can use what kind of things you have in your kitchen and in your pantry 
that may actually be able to be used for many other things other than just cooking. Um, or you can change, you can sometimes use when you're cooking something into a little bit of spell work at the same time. Um, so it has a lot of um, introductory information about using your home, hearth of the home, how these spells come together. And also then there's different spells and recipes even that you can make so the proper recipes you can make an evening meal and double it up as some spell work at the same time um it's a great time saver if you want to also do magic as well as the same exactly the same time as cooking dinner so this is a really great one i know this is on amazon as well i think it's the hardback version on amazon but i got like i said i got this in the works really great one i can't wait to look through it properly so it's the house witch and then the final book I bought is more of a storybook. So this is a book that I've bought to read cover to cover. It's going to be um, my holiday reading. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a light read, but it's something that I am fascinated by. And it's called Witchfinder. So this tells the story of two witchfinders in 17th century England when they <coughs> are seeking out those who they believe to be witches. The persecution, persecution that the said witches went through, and and basically how um, obviously society became very fearful of people who were witches. They had their own special ways of trying to determine um, who witches were, which were ultimately executions. Um, and it's kind of like a ref it's a story of that with a reflection as to kind of the hysteria that took hold um so it, it i mean it's even noted here as a 17th century english tragedy because we look back now and think that these people were innocent they weren't doing anything wrong yet they were persecuted and treated awfully and sometimes put to death in really horrendous ways for not really doing anything wrong at all so that's why this kind of the witch finders the witch the, even like the salem witch trials i've read a book on that um a really detailed um book on that and it is absolutely fascinating the belief systems that people had and what these people these suspected witches went through so that's why this really caught my eye again three pounds in in there and i just know i'm going to be gripped with this while i'm on holiday um i just know i'm gonna love it so that's a really great one as well and excuse me, I'm going to have to take some of my drink because of my hay fever. My throat is so, so scratchy. I need to have a sip of something. Is that my Harry Potter mug? It's so cute, isn't it? Look all the Harry Potter characters. So yeah, surprise, surprise, I'm a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> half a puff. So the last two things that I bought um, were in Rose and Amber, which was the other crystal shop that I mentioned. And I bought a couple of crystals in there, which I haven't, well, one in particular I'm going to talk about is really special. Um, and another one that I just haven't seen many places, and that is Appetite. Now, Appetite um, I bought because it's one I've been reading about. It's one I've never had for myself. So I definitely wanted it, and I was drawn to this piece. Um, it's, a, it's a lot about um, willpower, <coughs> inner strength, sticking to your goals, um, confidence manifestation again all things that spoke to me um that speak to me at the moment so that's why I went for that one so it's oh excuse me and it's yeah it's just it's just beautiful I love looking at it this kind of mottled bluey green color it just looks like looking into the sea so um yeah I love that so that's appetite which I bought now there's another crystal that I bought that I have been looking for for ages it's quite a rare crystal you don't find it many places um it's quite an expensive crystal relatively speaking for very small pieces um it can be um more money than you maybe you would expect to pay um some tumble stones for example at rose quartz clear quartz can cost as little as a pound whereas this this crystal of for a small well, for this small piece i paid 10 pounds but and that was cheap so this is a very rare crystal it's called bumblebee jasper and it's formed inside of volcanoes. So it's not the most readily available um, crystal to get. So the fact that I was able to find some in this shop really made me happy and I knew I had to have it. So there were a few pieces the lady gave me to choose from 
and this was the piece that I chose and I have been wanting this stone for a long long time because I also have a thing for bees um, I absolutely adore bees and bumblebees honeybees any type of bee so when I first read about bumblebee jasper a long time ago I was like I have to have some of that but I never found any and I think that I was just meant to find this yesterday because when the lady was sat behind her counter and I asked her if she had any bumblebee jasper, she was like, yeah, I think I do. And she had a rack of um, little plastic drawers in a box behind her. And as she pulled out the first drawer, a bag literally jumped out of the gap and fell into her lap and it was bumblebee jasper. So I was like, I meant to have this stone. It's amazing. So bumblebee jasper is a really great happiness stone. It's really uplifting and positive. Really helps with drive and, again, manifestation and making things into a reality. So it's just something that's really spoken to me. And I think it, the reason it happened yesterday is because now is the time I'm meant to have this, which is why I hadn't found it before. And I will, I'm going to endeavour to find a bigger piece as well, because I think this is going to be one of kind of my crystals. So I have some favourite crystals that I have. I have like my um, black obsidian, black tourmaline, big chunks of it, um, big chunks of rose quartz and amethyst, because they are, crystals that I will use again and again and again. They're something I connect with really well. So Bumblebee Jasper is going to be one of those. I just know it. So I will hopefully find a bigger piece um, in the months to come. But in the meantime, I'm absolutely thrilled that I have a piece of it. It's really, really special to me now. Um, and I feel like I need to honour it in a proper way by using it in some kind of charm or spell work or something that's going to really kind of mark its properties for me so that's my bumblebee jasper absolutely adore it so that's it that's everything I bought I and I it seems like a lot but the um it relatively speaking didn't cost an awful lot of money found it in great local shops um the books were from a discounted bookstore so yes they are like it's a massive chain but it was great for me cash flow wise but the crystals and the candles and the pentagram and everything like that came from two local independent shops and I'm really pleased that I found them because I know I'm going to be going back to them over and over again now um and if you are in the area I totally recommend that you go and check them out so yeah that brings a, to a close to my shopping haul um I again I've got links in the description to my social media if you want to have a look at the photographs of the inside of Amber and no, Rose and Amber the little Aladdin's cave have a look at those um and as usual you'll find links in the description for my online courses I have my big online course um kind of signature course is launching is opening its doors again for September the crystal remedy um it's a 12-week course um that you it's it's video based so you can take it at your own pace and um kind of just work through it however you want to work through it. There's no kind of live time for you to be anywhere. It's very much self-taught. Um, I'm really excited that that's opening its doors again for the final time this year um, in September. So I'm going to put a link in the description to the Crystal Remedy. Go and check that out. See what it's all about. If, if you're looking to kind of set your sights on something for next year and you want to reflect on what's happened, kind of get straight on who you are and what you want, and how to get it then it's an ideal course for you to set you up for 2020 so take a look at that link in the description and i will be back again next week with another video um, in the meantime you can check out the playlist here which is a playlist of um, other shopping hauls that i've done and if you haven't already then click subscribe and then you won't miss any future videos either and i will speak to you very soon have a good week take care bye